My name is Oliver Adunka, and I'm an ENT surgeon specializing in ear surgery at The Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. I had specialized training to perform cochlear implant surgery. I implants both children and adults of all ages. Sometimes a family or individual is concerned about the CI surgical procedure. Although this is a routine operation with low risk, it's perfectly natural to feel some anxiety. One way to help my patients overcome this concern is to share details on what will happen during surgery. Once it is determined that you or your family member meets the criteria to receive a cochlear implant, there are a few additional requirements. We ensure that there are no other health conditions that would complicate the operation. A CT scan or MRI helps the surgeon identify issues that need to be addressed before or during the procedure. A meningitis vaccination is required. When cleared, the surgery will be scheduled. During the surgery, the internal components of the device are implanted. The receiver is placed under the scalp and the electrode array is inserted into the inner ear. Patients typically check in on the day of surgery and go home later that day. Some children and adults may stay overnight. The operation takes an average of one to three hours and it's done under general anesthesia. After shaving and sterilizing, a small area behind the ear, an incision is made through the skin to create a flap. This incision will leave a small scar which over time will be barely visible. Hair typically grows back normally. Under the flap, the receiver is positioned away from the earlobe, leaving room for the eyeglasses. The surgeon then enters the middle ear space through the taste and facial nerve. To lower the small risk of injury to the facial nerve, we monitor during the operation. Every effort is made to preserve existing residual hearing. Once internal components are placed, measurements may be made to indicate if the device is functioning properly. Also, an x-ray may be taken to document electrode position. The wound is closed and a head dressing is applied, which can be removed the next day. Regal activities can be resumed within a couple of days. Some patients will experience dizziness or tinnitus after surgery, which typically resolves within a few days to weeks. Two to four weeks after surgery, the CI is activated or turned on by a cochlear implant audiologist. Regular follow-up visits for additional customization to the sound processor programs are required while the recipient adjusts to the new sound signal. As a cochlear implant surgeon, I am thrilled to be part of what is often a life-changing event. Since I understand that taking this last step is sometimes the hardest, I hope that this information has made you feel more confident in proceeding with CI surgery when it's time.